Sometimes when you go to other countries, you always think, you know, what I have to give them. But God always turns it around and confronts me with what I need. You see, you, we can talk about love and, and, and all this, and we can come up with some good stories and all that, and people would go, oh, yeah, that's mm, touching. But then, then you get confronted with this kind of thing. This lady comes up to me. Her name's Ruby. She's in Pakistan. Through the translator, she says, I want you to pray that I have a son. Oh, absolutely. Love that prayer. Gets answered a lot over there. It's, it's great. So, yeah. And then she says this. I gave my only son. I said, what, what, do you, what, what happened? What, what do you mean? Through the translator, she says, my brother and his wife tried to have children for eight years and couldn't. So I gave them my son. You know, you hear stuff like that, you go, geez, I don't think I'm there yet. I got sons. I wouldn't give them away. Maybe one of them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't, but just try to wrap your mind around that. Your only, and she said that, my only son. I'm thinking there should be a scripture about that. There is a scripture about that. You missed your cue, but I forgive you. I love you. And so I said, yeah, let's pray. We're going to pray. That's what I know. In my knower, she's going to have a son. You know why I believe that? Because I believe we're going to pray for her. Her name's Ruby. Everybody say Ruby. We laid hands on her. We prayed. I'm believing Ruby has a child. So whenever you're going through your day and you hear Ruby, the stone, Ruby, be quickened to pray for Ruby to have a son. That's our prayer. That's what we want to do.